Hi everybody, Lucy here from My Ambitious Art. How many of you have framed a canvas? Probably close to everybody who has a canvas to frame. The cost of framing and art supplies in general these days is astronomical through the roof and it's kind of discouraging for an artist to paint a picture and then have to spend oodles of money to get it framed. So today I'm going to be demonstrating how to frame a canvas without using a frame. Cool idea, right? Well, stay tuned. You're going to see what I can do with this frame canvas. And it's something that any, anybody can do with the right kind of supplies and a lot of patience. Remember, patience is a virtue in this case. So here we go. I hope you enjoy the video. Today I'm using a 12 inch by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas by Artist Loft. There are no staples on the side of this canvas so it's a clean finish and the sides are about one and a half inches deep. I'm using my pencil and a framing square to create a two inch border all the way around. Now I'm taking some blue painter's tape to tape the inside of the canvas and this will allow my construction of my frame to be done on the outside. I have some trim that I just found in my trim supply and it doesn't really matter what color it is because this is all going to be painted over. I'm using a miter cut on each end of the trim so the corners will lay flat. I'm just marking this out with a marker and then I'll be cutting it with a pair of scissors. Once all of my trim is cut to size, I'm using some decoupage glue to paint directly onto the canvas. And now I lay my trim on top of the glued portion. After it's in place, I use the decoupage glue to paint on top of the trim. This will make sure that it lays completely flat. It really doesn't matter what color your supplies are because this is all going to be covered later with paint. I found a roll of uh, satin cording. Now it, it really doesn't matter what kind of cording I'm using here because again it's going to be painted over. It just has to be able to be glued on to the canvas. I am again using the decoupage glue and this process is going to add a bit of texture along with my trim and, um, and depth to the frame itself. I cut each piece separately because going around the corners with that cording uh, would tend to be a little bit rounded. So I wanted these quarters, corners to be nice and sharp. I'm repeating the same process with the outside edge of the trim. Now just to decorate the sides a little bit because you know when you look at a framed picture on the wall you don't just look at the face of it you also kind of see the sides of it. So I'm going to be decorating the sides 
I'm measuring out in one inch increments where my decoration will be. Here I'm just finding the center of each of my marks so I make sure that my decorations will be nicely lined up on all four sides. I'm using some dried split peas and I'm using tacky glue to apply these peas onto the sides of the canvas. When this is painted, it will have the appearance of little tiny studs. And I like using the peas because it has that flat surface on each pea, which fits directly onto the canvas without any void. Now here, I have a silicone mold that you can get any at any craft store for um, for cake decorating and and resin and i'm using some sculpey air dried clay so what you do is you just squish this clay into your mold and you have to make sure to fill all the crevices really really tightly and press it down and then scrape off the excess of the back of the mold. Now taking it out of these molds is a little bit tricky. Um, I think it helps if you let it set in the mold for a couple of minutes before you try. Sometimes it does fall apart, but you can always put it back together. Now I'm taking my air dried beautiful leaf piece and I'm going to apply the tacky glue directly onto the back while it's wet so I can manipulate it once it goes onto the canvas. This is the messy part. It really helps to get yourself some um, little sculpting tools that have a silicone head on them. The silicone head is soft and it molds the clay without putting harsh indentations. So I'm going to keep repeating the same process until I get all the decoration that I want applied to my canvas. The air dry clay usually takes about 24 hours to set completely. I decided to put some trim, the same kind of cording that I used on the front, to border the peas that are on the side, and I'll be doing this on both sides. It'll just give the sides a little bit more personality.
Now that all the leaves are dry, I'm going to be applying some liquid gesso onto all the components that I have glued onto this canvas. This is to create a primering, primering base before I put my actual paint on it. Gesso takes about 24 hours again to dry completely. I'm making sure that I cover every, every component that I have on here. Now it's dry, you can see what it looks like. It kind of looks nice in white, but we're gonna give it a splash of color. I have some acrylic paint that I mixed um, a couple colors up. I was gonna originally do it gray, but I wanted to add a little bit of blue to this. So it's like a soldier blue. Painting this uh, with all the texture going on, there's a lot of little crevices that had to be touched up afterwards. So it is a little bit of a tedious uh, process, but in the long run, it's worth it. You got to cover all of those little white spaces. Here I'm taking just a very small brush and just making sure that I get all of those little uh, white spots covered. Now for the finishing, I'm going to be using two kinds of metallic paint because gold is just a little bit too harsh for me. So I want to darken it, darken it up a little bit using some metallic espresso color. I'm mixing this together and I'm using a stencil sponge to just pat it ever so slightly. Look how that looks. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love it. I keep doing this process until I have all of my texturing highlighted with the dark gold color. I just want to highlight the, the leaves and the little peas a little bit. So I'm going to go the opposite direction with the gold. I'm adding some pearl metallic paint with a bit of gold, and I'm just going to pat those leaves a little bit. I'm preparing the canvas now to be uh, spray painted with a high gloss um, clear varnish. So I'm taping the inside portion with some tissue paper. This process would also work if you had already painted your picture on the inside of the canvas and then done the frame afterwards because the blue tape and the paper will not stick to your paint. After it's dry, I take off all of the tape and the paper and I'm left with my finished frame. So here we have it, a nice elegant frame. Who would know that this is a canvas? It looks just like a frame, right? And now I will be painting the inside of this canvas on a later date. I'll be sure to post that video coming soon. Thank you for joining me today. Please support my channel. Give me a comment if you like it. If you don't like it, I'd appreciate your comments. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.